recording and see what happens. Yeah. It's <laughs> show time, guys. That was the plan. Wow. TJ and I, you know, mind waves. Mind waves? Mind waves? <laughs> mind waves! <laughs> mind waves. <laughs> well, what is it? Mind like? bullets. <laughs> mind Wait. bullets. Mind bullets. <laughs> Do we yeah, have, like... from Tenacious D. <laughs> All right, go. <laughs> Wait, I'm in my boxes. I'm start, ready. I need to go tell my brother that we're, we're, we're we are recording, so he doesn't burst in here and start trying to be a douche. Okay, that means I'm gonna have one. I'm gonna have another little cracker. <laughs> oh god, that's racist, by the way. <laughs> Not right. <ra> what? <laughs> First, I'm racist toward Irish Jews. When all I said yeah. was, I don't know if there are any of them. There might be. So if you're an Irish Jew listening to this podcast, I'm sorry. I don't know if this is going into the podcast. Of you the didn't shifty count key. down. I have to count down. Yeah, that's for <laughs> editing purposes. <laughs> Fine, okay. She can just cut. Okay. <laughs> I've left enough like silence. I, I feel like silence. <laughs> I feel like this should be at the very beginning as a blooper. Okay. All right. <laughs> Three, two, one. Welcome to episode seventeen of the Shifty P. P. <laughs> shifty P. <laughs> podcast Not today. As your get, uh, today we have me, Vic, who can't talk apparently. Yeah, she apparently can't eat <laughs> before the podcast either. I'm uh, Jim. Welcome back, everybody. Wait, am I welcoming y'all back or am I being welcomed back? Uh, were you here last week? No. TJ, your turn. I'm TJ, and I'm back again. I think I've still been here for every episode, except it's always one. And I'm Tyler. Haunt your nightmares again for the third time now, I think. Third, fourth? I can't remember. Sorry, third. Yes, definitely. Sorry. <laughs> it's like third. It's like a turd with an F. Third. Oh, are we going to bring up how I can't you say the number use three? A, use a hard T yes. there, Jim. That wasn't an F. Okay. See, I get a lot of stick for not being able to say number three. But I've learned three. that you can say it free. There you go. So if Gaff is out there listening, you can be quiet now. Gavin I can say three, it. Like Gavin three. Uh, I can say Gavin free. I struggle saying the number. Can't say. Uh, well, obviously has free. Absolutely perfect. Free yeah, is I can say free. wonderfully well because it's. He says it every time he goes to say three. So yeah. My my parents make fun of me because I can't say the word button. Button. You just said it. Button. Oh, you button. say button. 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 That's how With I say D. it. Yeah. So it's like, like how we say water without the like T. Buttocks. Like I what? Well, <laughs> buttocks. <laughs> well, some people say buttocks. You know, buttock. but it's buttocks. Buttock. But. Welcome to this week's but. social therapy. <laughs> <laughs> I have trouble saying the word digital sometimes. Digital, digital with the J, yeah, I have the same. No, digital. Like, I'll, try, I'll try to say digital design, and it'll come out like digital. Wow. Digital. <laughs> I, I don't. I don't. Wait, wait. That makes that I makes no sense. I try to say digital design. I tried saying soup, and I ended up saying potato, and everyone was just so confused. Uh, wait, <laughs> hold on, TJ. How do you? <laughs> D digital to whatever vomit you just spewed is like that's a really vomit. big leap i mean you go from the word digital to not any language at all um i may have exaggerated a little bit the llama like, like what i said you go from speaking english like speaking llama <laughs> the llama <laughs> okay i'm so confused like, what does llamas that... have to do with this Whatever. So do I, do I like go on. do you do you imagine that I like start saying the word digital and then I just find the nearest person and spit in their eyes? Yeah, kind of. <laughs> just like <laughs> like I'm talking to my friends. I'm like, hey, what did you think of digital? 
design class. Yeah, yeah, but you leave the design off though, because you don't say digital design. You fumble over it. So it's just digital and then spit, or just dig and then. I like the idea of him trying to literally, uh, like when Jim said, "What was that vomit earlier?" Like him trying to say the word digital and actually throwing up everywhere. Like, he's allowed to say it. He's like, "Oh yeah, how was digital?" I mean, <laughs> I feel like I don't have this problem. <laughs> yeah, I don't think anybody has this problem in I real feel, life. I feel like if I actually had this problem, every time I went to my digital design class, I would have real issues. So, is there any words out there w that would kind of make you want to throw up? As you say them. Potty. DJ. Potty? Make you want to throw uh, no, up? No, potty. Oh, I don't potty. like the word potty. You don't like the word potty? No, Are you that's, asking a, that's for words a word that... I hate. Are you asking about for words moist. that I don't oh, like? Moist, or words that moist doesn't bother me. Up? Like, some people really hate the word moist, but I don't think it's a bad word. I don't either. I, I don't understand why people are so, like... Some people are like, I can't. Moist. I, I, I think I spent so much time on the internet that now the word wet has a worse connotation for me than moist at this point. Wet. <laughs> <laughs> it, it's really bad if you, like, you strongly pronounce the T at the end, so it's like that, <laughs> and it is. Uh, <laughs> it sounds like you're trying to say it in a really creepy way if you do that. Like if yeah. you were talking to somebody, and like if it, you're just like, "Oh, you look very wet." Yeah, I think um, Danny from Game Grumps made a point that anything that ends with T that you strongly pronounce it sounds disturbing. So that was very tight and wet <laughs> and shit like then, that. Well, when you, like, oh. Then again, in the RT community, whenever somebody says something like that, you can just say tease it and go on with it. Well, you're also highly, like, enunciating that T, like, putting a lot of stress on that T, so... Mm. I feel like I say the word tight, and I don't... I, don't, I still tight. have the T in there, but I don't... I'm, like, tight. tight. <laughs> like, I'm saying, oh, here's something that's funny, now that we're talking about this. When I try to use voice text, like, when I use Siri to send a text message to my friend to say, hey, do you want to play Titanfall? Siri always does it as Titan, like T I G H T E N, not Titan. <laughs> it was T I E T A T A N. It's like, why? <laughs> Siri, you're killing me. Doesn't understand. Siri, you don't you understand. She doesn't understand me. Do you like play a disgruntled maintenance worker and it's like you're tightening bolts on the top of a building? Careful not to fall. <laughs> Yeah, you tighten as you fall off a building. It's like, ah, I'm going to get this screw in here. Absolutely perfect. Yeah, you're pretty much doomed to fall. You just have to try and get as many screws tightened <laughs> so, before How you many die. screws can you get tightened down if you fell off the Empire State Building before it's you like, the There's one, there's one, there's one, there's one. Damn it, missed it. Well, that was my biggest regret. <laughs> <laughs> I missed screw. the last screw. Bam. Uh, it's like on the ground. Out. A score just pops over your head. Ten bolts. It's it, Twilight the Coyote style. I imagine it would be like a Flappy Bird game. Like, you're, like, going down the hallway, and you're like, that was so fucking hard. Then you see some other guy land right next to you, he just goes splat. And it's, like, 255, and you're like, what the fuck? Oh, God. Flappy Bird. I'm glad I missed the entire hype about that, because... Yeah. The fact that that got as popular as it did astounded me, because it's a shit Flash game, to be honest. Everyone knows it was shit, because everyone was drove, you know, just went mad about it. And it was like, oh, if you're that mad about it, here's one way to stop. Um, <clears throat> don't play it. <laughs> it's really that simple. <laughs> and that was gone, isn't it? Uh, well, I think it's coming back. Yeah, well, it has come back. But the creator no, said that. Wow. Yeah, the creator was like, nope, I'm not doing anymore. It's totally like screwed up my life, but the, that was such a big thing. It was like, all right, I'm bringing it back, but I'm not updating it. He's like, if it's broken, it's broken. I'm just going to leave it as is. And so he's just sitting back and he's like, I, from what I, I think he's a Taiwanese developer and he's just raking in money. I mean, I heard it like off of ad revenues, he's estimated to get $50,000 a day. But nah, as far as games go, me. that's. I always put very... my phone in airplane mode when I played that. As far as games go, there are other games that you can get on smartphones that take that, that are more enjoyable. You know, I just don't understand why it was so popularized because it was annoying. I don't know. I, well, 
in all honesty, I'm not a really big fan of mobile games. Like they just Same. don't yeah. do it for me. Yeah, I, I, I was hoping. Opinion. Absolutely, I was hoping with my uh, with having an Apple TV or like AirPlay stuff for my iPad or my iPhone onto my TV, <laughs> and I did that with Knights of the Old Republic when it first came out on the iPad. And I was like, man, this is sweet, and then it, it lasted. That novelty was about three minutes long, and I was like, all right, um, well. It's kind of cool, <laughs> but it looks a lot better on my iPad because my iPad has eight times the resolution of my 720p television. So, yeah, it does look pretty phenomenal, by the way. So, if anybody wants to get OTOR on iPad, pretty dope looking. I would, I wish it. games like uh, KOTOR, like when they re release them, I wish they would update the graphics. That'd, that'd be well, great. they did do some very minor graphic improvements on the iOS version with lighting. But I, I wish they would update like the, the character models a little bit. That would be yeah. nice. Because that, I've come to notice. Great. Yeah, for sure. I, I've come to notice that um, if you ever want... I, I realized this when I was looking at um, a 4K screenshot of Titanfall on the PC running at the absolute maximum settings. No matter how good a polygon count for a game is, if you increase the resolution beyond what it was really designed for, it's going to look like ass, and you're going to see yeah. how blocky it is. And I realized yeah. that resolution will always outweigh polygon count. And I was, I was kind of heartbroken when I saw that. I was like, oh, man. <laughs> it's like even I, worse. Sorry? Yeah, go ahead. No, I was going to say, I mean, that's, that's why I always, like, when I go back and, like, play older games, they never look as good as I remember. It's because this, the resolution outdoes mm-hmm. the polygon count, and that's when I realized it. That's all. I was just going to say... um. Ever since I took my uh, game and simulation class, where I've actually designed 3D models, um, I've really noticed like every single like corner on a thing. I'll, I'll like look at like a new game trailer and I'll be like, "Oh, that looks really pretty." Then I'll watch it again the second time and I'll be like, "There's a block. There's there's a block. There's a line there. That's not a real circle. It's just a like a uh, pentagon or something." Are we talking about like just you know graphics and stuff now? Because there is one person I want to give an evil fucking shout out to that has been driving me insane. Yeah, sure, with... go for it. Okay, uh, you guys may or may not have heard of TDB Tom. Yes. Um, oh yeah. He... I might have talked to him once. Okay. Um, sorry for calling him out. He's probably never going to hear this anyway, unless I <laughs> directly force him to watch it. But um, Please, let, it all, let all your frustrations out about TDB Tom right here. We, let go we, of we, your hate. <laughs> let it go. But um, Let your anger flow through you. Let we did a go. recording. Let it we, go. <laughs> oh, we're just not going to let him do it. <laughs> but, um, Can't we, hold it back. Jesus. <laughs> 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 let the man talk. Sorry. <laughs> but, uh, um, we did a recording, and Basically, it was him on the side of PC and me on the side of, you know, just casual console gaming. Not that I really cared about it. You know, if you're on the PC game, you can PC game. But he kept on saying that it was superior. And I was like, okay, fair enough. You can think that way. But why is your, you know, ultimate, like, why do you think that? And it wasn't his only reason. It wasn't his only example. But the one thing that he keeps on pissing me off with was that he's like, oh yeah, you can update the graphics cards and upgrade your computer so the graphics get better on certain games. And he always gives me an example of he can play Minecraft and have like no latency and see miles. And I'm like, you, you've improved your graphics so you can play Minecraft <laughs> with better <laughs> fucking graphics. A game that's purposely made to look like you know, well, bad and blocky. What okay, the fuck I'll, is wrong I'm gonna make I'll, it as not I'll blocky as possible. <laughs> because when I got my when I got my iMac, um, like last summer, the first thing I did was download Minecraft, and I'm like, I want to see if I can play this without Optifine, and I did, and I put it on max settings, and like I could see like like 30 miles into the distance, and I looked at my frame rate, and it was like 200 frame, like 250 frame rate. And I kind of yeah. just sat in my chair and silently jizzed myself. And then I, and then I realized, this doesn't really matter. Yes. I'm not, I don't want to play it at 250 frames per second. So I just exactly. put an Optifine and limited it to 30. Exactly, because that's the thing that annoyed me about it. It was like, yeah, but can your PC, oh, sorry, not PC, can your Xbox run Minecraft at 530 frames per second? I was like, 
No, because I don't fucking need it to. Right. <laughs> you know? Well, I want to I, I say, I, being that I play both consoles and PC games, I understand the arguments on both sides. From what I understand of it on the console side, and I'm just, I'm one of those people when it comes to technology, it's, you know, or even gaming as a technology, so it's whatever works for you. Exactly, yeah. Go for it. But on the console side, the thing is, is that, and, and Jack put said this in a podcast probably two years ago, I think, um, that when you, the, the, the thing of having a standardized console across all players is that it eliminates things like technology variables that may give somebody more of an advantage than someone else. Yeah. So everybody's playing technologically from the same plane, essentially, and so you really get to see their true skill of it. Additionally, if you have one set standard of hardware, you can just optimize the shit out of whatever you put on there. Like, I mean, the 360 is old now, and compared to PC games, because PCs have just so much more raw processing power, hmm. the 360 games don't look as good. But given oh, yeah. what's in those things, I mean, the, the 360 has got hardware in it that is now eight years old. I mean, that thing has got a processor in it that the old Power Macs used to use before Apple switched to Intel. Yeah. Oh my god! I mean, it's amazing what they managed to bump out of that tiny little Xbox. Yeah, you know they that that whole thing, that whole Xbox 360 has half a gigabyte of RAM. That is it. You know, like if you think about it, um, games like let's see, um, Obl- Oblivion is the oldest um, Xbox 360 game I can think of, and that had pretty good graphics at the time. But that game was made on the same console as games like Halo 4 and Grand Theft Auto graphics-wise. And even, you know, power-wise. Like, Grand Theft mm. Auto is a huge game. Like, it's just insane. Yeah. I, I get surprised sometimes watching the Rooster Teeth Let's Plays of uh, of Grand Theft Auto 5. <laughs> you know, when they're going or flying through the city in a helicopter or they're like hauling ass down the road in a car... I'm just like, I'm amazed that the 360 can just ash that data so quickly, you know? Yeah. And, and it just pumps it into the visual part of the RAM with such speed, you know? And so th- when I say that's what's good about consoles is that they're, they have one set standard of hardware, and they're always going to have that standard of hardware until the next generation of consoles comes out, and it's technologically going to be behind whatever's on PC. That's fine. But for me, it's kind of the same thing that it comes to like, games for mobile platforms you know games that are on the the 3ds or the 2ds or even ios because it's all the same hardware it's all Mm. optimized and it looks incredible i mean there's some amazing 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 looking games on the iphone and the ipad i mean shit that just blows my mind i'm like jesus like this is you know (laughs) i i couldn't believe that this fits in my hand and so it's it's that kind of thing. You can really optimize what you're doing. The the flip side of it is with PCs, you know, it's always going to be pushing the edge. And if you want the when it comes to competitive gameplay, people will make the argument that if you run Minecraft at 250 frames a second, that's reducing your latency. So if hmm. Minecraft was ever played competitively, you might have three milliseconds ahead of your opponent, and that might be all the difference, and you would win in whatever you were doing in Minecraft. Yeah. You know, I'm thinking of something like more like Unreal Tournament, but you could use that argument for uh, League of Legends. That's right. where that argument will come more prevalent. Because Except League of Legends isn't really that bad a game, graphics-wise. It doesn't use that much. It's yeah, but not, if you had a computer but... that could run it perfectly. Right, but if you have more hardware in your computer, it's going to run it better. So if yeah. Vic has got 100 frames a second, and I'm running at 300 frames a second, I mean, you're going to have some serious hardware. But, hypothetically speaking, you know, that means that I'm seeing three times as many frames per second that she is. You know, I, I don't have to wait for my screen to refresh as fast. So, nah. Yeah, because the I'm pr- whole. I'm pretty sh- no, because the whole part of the loading screen into League is not just your internet connection. It's literally your computer getting ready to mm. play the game. That's why my laptop dies every fucking time I try to Because, <laughs> like, some people's computers just can't really handle Toasters. that game. And Mine that's can't. why it takes them so long to load in like sometimes it's internet connection but that loading screen before league of legends starts is both oh, yeah, but... your internet connection and 
your computer's ability to process the game. Yeah, by all means, you need a powerful enough computer, but relatively speaking, it's not the most demanding game. Mm. Well, and I mean, also to for like a regular player like myself, it's not that big of a deal. But for somebody who's in the LCS who plays, yeah. they might real need like reels, a special. Their computers are like everything. top of the end, top of the line Alienwares. Like that's what they use during the LCS games. They're al- all Alienwares. Well, I will Alien show you all the computer that's down. used. Probably. For high-end PC gaming. I'll show y'all something. I'll get it pulled up here and I'll show well, you. While you're showing them that, I would just like to apologize to Tom, but dear God, you've got to stop comparing graphics to me w- with your PC when I don't care about the differences. Like, if you've if you've got, like, a PC or an Xbox or a PlayStation or a Wii, it's one of those things where I don't care. I think it's only annoying when the fanboys start up and then it's like, dude, shut up. They bought what they bought. Leave you know with it. <laughs> don't, always... com- don't compare your P- uh, PC to my PlayStation 2, fuck's sake. <laughs> you know what's weird? It's always the people that have the superior product. Like, It's always those people that end up starting the fights. Or the people that have the superior product in one particular instance. Like, For instance, yeah. like if you go on a forum or something and you um, ask them, you know, you're just asking, hey, are they going to make like a port of this game for the Mac? All the fucking Windows fanboys are going to go in and they're like, no, just buy a Mac. Or just buy yeah. a Windows. And it's like, why do you got to say that? Why can't you just say no? Or you it, go on to like a... I hate it more when like a, it, someone's sorry. already put... Oh, sorry. I, I actually cut you off there. But I hate it more when someone's already got the product. And then someone goes, oh, you should have got the uh, PlayStation 3. And I'm... You're kind of like, yeah. okay, should I just go out and sell my console to get the PlayStation 3 now, you fucking idiot? <laughs> yeah, because, you know, I'm going to do that because you recommended it to me. <laughs> you know? People on the internet are fucking assholes. It's the same thing as, like, wiki answers that, you know, on the Archie podcast, they're always complaining about the wiki answers. People will just, like, ask a question on there, and then somebody will be like, I don't know. It's like, why would you even waste time hosting? <laughs> so get yeah, responses make out of you like that? They're yeah. Just- just, they don't. They they want those type of responses. They want people to respond like that. that they're the, trolls. Of course, they they live for that shit. So of course they're gonna go on wiki answers and respond with that because they want to see people get angry. That's the whole point of being a troll. So why are you yeah. getting mad at a troll? <laughs> my, my favorite troll. One is troll. I'm, I'm not getting mad at a troll. Term. I'm getting mad at all trolls. It's it's an, it's a rant against all trolls, not just it's, one. Oh my it's god, still TJ, a pointless you just opened rant. the gates. It's I still know. really pointless because it's like. The point of being a troll and the point of being an asshole is specifically to get a rise out of somebody. It. I think if you my... allow them. If you allow them to get a rise, get a little pissed hmm. off, but you just don't respond to them because then they're gonna I, be yeah. like, "Oh, damn it! I didn't get my... the response I wanted." It's like yeah. having a sibling. <laughs> oh, don't yeah. give them the yeah. response they want. You just. Let them be assholes. Just to cal- uh, clarify, I've... I have nothing against trolls, but I find people that fanboy over products that everyone has to waste money on fucking pointless. Yeah, it's, <laughs> you know? it's not necessarily just trolls that do that, though. It's just some fanboys who are just so obsessed with thinking that, oh, you're wrong, I'm right. You know, like, t- there are people that are clearly trolling and you ignore them, but then they're just like Tyler said, fanboys who are annoying and they don't even realize that they're being trolls, but they might subconsciously have like a little troll in their head telling them what to type. <laughs> well, it's because they have like nothing, they have nothing better to do. Um, what I just linked in uh, at here in t- um, is <laughs> a, a Falcon Northwest system to, uh, that PC Mag reviewed, and it's not even like the highest end of Falcon Northwest, and this thing is $4,400. It's got a, a Core i7 4770K, uh, 16 gigs of RAM. Um, I don't know. It's got one of the cons is there's no room for updates. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. I didn't even notice that. Here's one. Um, this one might be more applicable to what you see. With what's competitive in gaming? Well, sort of. It's a 7400. Um, but it's it's an overclocked CPU. I think it's got two graphics cards in it. Um, I mean, <laughs> when it comes to PC gaming, like people get really serious. You know, like they'll buy like the killer network cards. Uh, killer is a brand, 
And what it does is it cuts down on internet latency and they know all the processes to shut down in the background of their PC. You know, it's, it's stuff like that, that, um, that, you know, when people want to talk about, you know, anything, this is, this is what it is. And I get it. Cause I mean, I'm a, I'm a technology guy, so I have a gaming PC that I've built as well. Mm. It's not, my graphics card's kind of a mid-range card just because it was cheap and it would do what I wanted it to do. So, I I mean, you know, I'm thinking before the end of the year, I'm probably going to upgrade my graphics card again, but I don't see a need to upgrade anything else. But yeah. there are people who do. So. Oh, yeah. Tom, Tom, sorry to say this, Tom. And I, I know this is bad because I'm just fucking just wrecking him. Tom. Random yeah. him. Just yeah, one day you bring him on. You're just throwing podcast. him under the bus. Or bring me That's and him on the for. podcast together, and we could argue for an hour. Because... Oh, I would love to. <laughs> but um, we get Tom in here now. It... <laughs> he... <laughs> Do I don't even know. I would DR. invite him if he is, but um, he just brings up like I think the last time we were even on Teamspeak together, it was me, him, and Brian, and they were just talking about upgrading the PC, and I was like, Tom, you got your PC upgraded and you know adjusted. He was telling me about this. At the beginning of this year, what the fuck do you need to improve it? Like it's already pretty. I put it like good. this. This is my thought process on it. it it's it's e painting. Like that's what e paint is. It's it's just you have to. <laughs> you gotta in your own way. You gotta big dick yourself. So that's I like. I liken it to people who get really nice, really fancy cars and then put them in the garage and never drive them. You know, because oh, yeah. you know your your computer's gonna be in your room. You know, I mean, you don't bring yeah. people over and be like, oh, look at my tricked out gaming computer because people are going to go, oh, it's a box yeah. with electronics <laughs> inside. That's definitely kind awesome. of what I said. Um, you know, with the car comparison there, that's definitely one thing I've come across when talking about, like, what are you going to do when you win the lottery? And I've, I always get the same response like from friends of mine that they're going to buy like a Ferrari and keep it locked away. And <laughs> no. I'm like... No, I would buy 10 Toyota Celicas and just drive them around because fuck it, you know, you drive could. Around. Wait, if you have 10 of them, are you just going to like drive around and just slam them into trees and stuff? Be like, oh, just <laughs> bring another cars. one. <laughs> <laughs> Don't because worry, I'm on the lottery. I'll pay for your insurance bill. Yeah. What's the point in wasting most of the money you've won in a lottery, in some cases, on a really expensive car that you're afraid to drive? <laughs> you know? Here's... What a shit car. I want. I want. I've got to put this in chat. This is one of my favorite things about Craigslist is finding just outrageous, outrageously priced stuff on Craigslist. Oh, what is it? What is it? What is it? This is an Alienware laptop that is a hundred thousand dollars. Wow. <laughs> like, wow. You can't be serious. <laughs> I don't. Think oh, serious. they do. This is a paid they... full crew of school assignment. There is yeah, not it a is fake. <laughs> okay, um, I didn't read all that. I just, I just was like, an amazing gaming computer, hundred thousand dollars, and I was like, hmm, oh my god, let me go see what this is. <laughs> Honestly, I love that, Jim. You Honestly, cannot be serious. Really He's not. For, yeah, uh, my, thank God. For my senior class's school prank, they literally put my entire school up on Craigslist for oh uh, like three hundred bucks. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so funny. I should have done that. <laughs> Like, my class did two senior pranks. I And I was not a part of any of them, or knew about them, until the end of the year when they told us what we did. Uh, and they you were like, oh. What we did. <laughs> <laughs> they tinfoiled the principal's office, Holy and shit. they uh, did uh, the thing with the the, the, the Craigslist thing. Ah. <laughs> well, I... <laughs> I, um... As a joke, some of my friends and I did this. I say some of my friends. Um, I was present when this occurred. I did not come up with it. <laughs> they uh, they lit a smoke bomb in uh, the bathroom, and you know we let it run for a minute. That. Yeah, we let it run for a couple of minutes. Like, oh, right, that's funny. We got to throw it down the toilet, and it wouldn't flush down the toilet, so it was just oh. smoking out of the toilet. <laughs> and before you knew it, there's tons of smoke coming out of the bathroom, and we all just hauled ass and ran out of the building, and then the fire alarm went off just shortly after that, and they evacuated everybody. It was a mess. They never found out who did it. Like, I guess the, uh, the camera that was in that hallway wasn't Until working. Now. Well, I mean, it's 12 well, years ago. You still don't know the names. Uh, 10 years ago now. <laughs> If that happened at my school now, they would not rest until they found out who did that, and they would like hunt them down and prosecute them and 
Yeah. Uh, charge him as an Yeah, attorney. hindsight probably not a great idea given, you know, 9-11 and all that jazz. It probably wasn't, oh my God. wasn't smart in any way, shape, or form. But Somebody... I guess the camera on that hallway wasn't working, so they never they never found us. Because, I mean, You're it was, lucky the, 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 the cameras are right there in front of the bathrooms. Really insane like that. Not physically like that. Um, but somebody in the, one of the bathrooms at my school, like a couple days before I got out. Um, <laughs> before I got out. Like it was the before I got out of there, man. <laughs> my bill was posted. I'm out. Get back anyway, in the world. Uh, somebody wrote on like one of the bathroom stalls something about blowing up the school and things like that. Oh, God. And uh, basically after that, the entire school was like on not lockdown every day, but they call it a no pass policy. You aren't allowed to like leave the classroom or go to the bathroom without an escort, things like that. Mm. And it was all because of some stupid sophomore because he was dumb enough to like write on it, go class of 2016 or 17 or whatever the fuck those fucking sophomores are. I always hate. Right. Trust me, they don't get any better because you're going to be an underclassman. You're going to do some stupid, it, and then you're gonna look back and be like, "I was that guy." <laughs> you, <laughs> do you, do you guys think guy. I'm? Do you guys think I'm one of those that guys? Do I? You do know I what? Sound like I'm one I, of those no. Guys? Honestly, I never like when I was in high school. I never thought of myself as that person who would do like some dumb shit. Oh my god! Now that I look back, now I was that person that everyone hated, as in like under Aww. you know lower Aww. class, like underclass. You were the uh, freshman that I individual. hated as a senior. Yeah, because I was, even though I was kind of quiet and kind of kept to my, my, I still did some, like, really stupid stuff. And I thought it was super funny and people would give me weird looks. And it's just, like, now I watch some of the freshmen now and I'm like, oh, my God, that was me. <laughs> Granted, I wasn't like some of the freshmen. Apparently, this weekend we had quad stock, which is our, like, annual festival we have Wait, are at you my talking school. about freshman college or freshman high school oh well that freshman in college stuff. more uh i think i did more dumb stuff in high school than college um but this weekend i guess i was talking to one of my friends and apparently it was quad stock this weekend and um notoriously there's a ton of drinking so like i wasn't on Yay. last week's podcast because i was getting drunk at the time <laughs> Quad stock. <laughs> um, and I mean, my apartment was fine. Like, had a bunch of underclassmen, but like, it was totally under control. No one got too shit faced. Like, pretty much everyone paced themselves really, really well. So, our it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, but apparently, so many freshmen went to the hospital because they drank too much and got alcohol poisoning. They, mm-hmm. according to one of my friends, they sent. So many people to the hospital with um with uh, alcohol poisoning, and it's just like, what? Like, why? <laughs> one, well, I guess they didn't one, know it makes... have responsible seniors looking over them. Well, that, but it's just like, I don't know. It it kind of peeves that that happens, and like no one. Mm. It, I don't know. Like, I feel like there's ways to prevent it, and. I don't know. It just, it kind of upset me. It kind of upset me because, like, in college, there's always this, like, aspect of when you're in college, underage drinking is, like, not that big of a deal and we'll kind of just accept it as something that happens. But we make it so, like, it's so taboo, too, that we don't teach any of the kids what can happen Mm. if you drink too much quickly yeah. and i don't know i guess it just kind of like even though personally i kind of laughed i was like uh huh stupid freshman it kind of made me really sad that like when nobody... you sobered up and you realized what was happening <laughs> <laughs> well i was sober <laughs> when this story was told to me i was in class oh, okay um, so it just made me sad though that i was like oh like they they don't realize the dangers of drinking cuz either one they're stupid or two no one's told them and like they're freshmen, so they're going to do stupid stuff. It's like... So do you think that maybe what should happen is they should, like, prep freshmen for, like... They should have, like, drinking education, like they have sex education, you know? Yes. I mean, <laughs> like, we, 
Have don't s- don't do this, kids. These are the consequences. Even though you're underage and you shouldn't be thinking about it anyhow because you're underage. <laughs> like, is it is it well, like that? I guess. Well, also, my sex education in high school was a lot different than most kids' sex education in high school. They like, showed you a porno or something. <laughs> no, I high learned. I had it like, in elementary school. Well, I was about to say. Yeah, well, elementary school that like dingy little stupid they call sex ed, but. In my high school, they taught me. They taught us. I went to an all girls Catholic school at that too. But oh boy! They, they taught. They did not teach us abstinence. They taught us everything. I learned like the thirteen ways to prevent, um, to prevent, uh, pregnancy. So I learned there's about thirteen ways. There's yeah, it's thirteen ways. It's like number uh, one, don't have sex. Number two, yeah, <laughs> don't have sex. <laughs> it's abstinence. The f- condoms, spermicide, condoms, birth control. Pulling um, out. Oh, wait, not that uh, one. <laughs> no, I, I, I learned all that, too, when I was so in middle school. We learned all that, and, Puerto like, Rican. they treated it in the sense of, like, we know you guys are gonna have sex, and we know some of you are gonna have sex, even though... Some of you are mature- thinking about having sex right now. <laughs> <laughs> but they accepted it that, like, that's a part of life. That's a part of growing up and yeah. being a teenager. Like it's something kids think about and talk about. We're curious. Like, we play with a very mature view that you rarely hear. So yeah. instead of them like turning around being like, no, you can't have sex, teach abstinence, they straight out like taught us like here are the pros of having sex, yeah. like here are the cons, like make sure you're doing it with somebody you love. Blah blah yeah. blah blah blah. Was, and like uh, child even though support one of the cons. <laughs> no, yeah. Oh my like, god. Even One though... of the cons was like a dirty con. ass STD, and it's like, yeah, this is a con. Oh, <laughs> never and have sex. It's like but... they they still gave us like the information we needed, I, I and they kind of accepted, why. like, yeah, we can't. Cause... We would <laughs> rather you be safe and like have responsible sex because having sex is a really big deal. We're not, we care enough about you to tell you what's going to happen and to tell you this shit and not like treat it like it's a taboo subject and not treat it like it never happens because it fucking Mm. happens. And I think that's the same with drinking. Like we need. It doesn't happen outside the Garden of Eden. Yeah. Just just out of (laughs) curiosity, maybe a different ratio for a Catholic, all girls Catholic school, but how many girls were pregnant in your school by the time you were a senior? Uh. I, how many how many years I, of education are you uh, in school before you're a senior? Because I'm trying to translate it to the four. UK, and I'm like, I would well, like we're to eighteen point when out, we graduate. I would like oh, okay. to point out there were 48, 49 girls in my graduating class. Um, wow! I yeah. at my nose and when I say I did not know much gossip about high school. I mean, I literally was did not know anything there was shit i was finding out in my senior year that happened in eighth grade because this was a middle school high school so like i was completely out of the loop so personally Mm. i don't know um i know one girl two girls the year below me one of them got pregnant um but she had a miscarriage she was actually gonna keep the baby but she miscarried and then um another girl I think another girl may have had an abortion. I think. Don't really? remember. So, yeah. like, at, two, at two. that kind of school? Yeah. Right? I, I was just thinking about it because I was comparing that. And, like, this year, I didn't really notice anything my freshman year. Like, maybe one person, I was like, that's weird. They're in high school and they're pregnant. And then, like, my senior year, like, it seemed like every sing not every single girl, but, like, a lot of girls are all of a sudden turning up pregnant. Oh like, yeah, like if you got Facebook freshmen. and stuff, you like, get when reminded I was, about when it. I was a senior. I'm like looking at all these freshmen, and they all have like kids, and I'm like, "You're what? a kid, and now you're having kids. This is not right." <laughs> exactly. God, like, we sound my, old. My junior year, yeah. I was sitting, I was sitting in a drawing class, and this girl was talking about her kid to this guy. I wasn't trying to listen, but everybody in my school is freaking. They talk really loud, and they're really obnoxious. And I just overheard it, and she was like a really tiny girl who was a freshman, and she had kids. Kids, as in plural. Okay, a kid. <laughs> but I yeah, just I, I had just, a similar. 
surprises me. And then there were like girls that I had not talked to, but like known since um, my freshman year and like look over and like, oh, you're pregnant now. Yeah. Somehow that for, doesn't surprise me. For me, like... I, no one in my no one in my school noticeably got pregnant and had a kid because yeah. if someone did like one we have stringent we have actually a policy in the handbook. Um, I got really bored. Have kids. I get would pregnant, read. You're fired. No, um, if you got pregnant, the school would actually like you would allow you were allowed to continue your education. So it was either like you medically couldn't do it anymore because of medical issues with the kid. And then once you gave birth, like when you were ready, you could come back to school. Like they had a policy laid laid out, laid out for any possible pregnancies. But no one went in my four years of my knowledge. um, No one in my four years at high school ever got pregnant and then had a kid while in school. Granted, I could be wrong and not have noticed because I'm completely oblivious to about 80% of my life, but our other people's lives, I should say. Well, that's um, good. I probably, I probably just cry too much. Like, I just. Well, I mean, if you overhear everything. it, if you overhear it, that's like well, not a negative. I yeah. just, I honestly, going to an all girl school, I, it, for me, it was better to keep my nose out of a lot of things because mm-hmm. the drama sometimes could get so nasty and i preferred to stay out of it so yeah i that's think just... i think it's the same in like all high schools it's really just yeah. don't want to be a part of it but i still have kind to of do it yeah it's kind of much. how i approached secondary school which is i guess the equivalent which was uh i'm not going to get involved in anyone's business i'm not going to get involved with this that and the other because i had my own issues when i was growing up through uh secondary school because i was bullied um but I was like, I'm going to make this easy for myself. I don't care what that person's doing or that person's doing. I'm just going to go to my lessons. You know, I I wasn't even thinking about like stupid stuff like getting a girlfriend at the time because I was like, I've seen how this plans out because it ends badly and then they mope about it for ages and their grades go down. I'd rather just have these couple of years of just pure focus. And then I get to ruin my life as an adult. But um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like, I, I guess it's not really bad that, you know, you're oblivious to all that kind of stuff. It's, it's probably for the best because you don't want to be that nosy person. <laughs> yeah. Also, too, by the time I got to, yeah, like you said, like, by the time I got to my junior year, I had a lot of issues of my own. Um, mm. Like, we had a lot of school issues and essentially what happened like some shit went down at school um and i essentially took like everybody decided that i was going to be their support um and like i had no system which led down a very very bad path of depression and Uh other things so my junior and senior year like i kept to myself like didn't really say anything and the kind of same thing happened Weird. Same thing kind of happened like my junior and senior year of college is like I had shit go down my junior year and put me again put me down my bout of depression and then when I finally got out of it one of my friends is like why don't you like hang out with people and I'm just like you know I'm kind of done with this I... like I need a I need to focus on me and like my social problems and like myself and mm. I cannot like deal with this shit right now like I cannot deal with your shit. I cannot not deal, like, this is my last year of college. Like, this is my last year of college. I'm going to enjoy it. And if that means I want to sit on the internet and talk to my friends, that's what I'm going to do. <laughs> yeah. So I stayed out of it. And I've got to admit, like, uh, in the second year of university that I've had currently, um, I've noticed that I've kind of avoided a lot of my friends from the first year. Not for any particular reason. The only thing that's changed between... The first year and the second year is that I quit drinking. And uh, the second year, I've been doing stuff like sitting at the front of every class, you know, just so I can take notes. Because I can't stand sitting, you know, and chatting amongst friends somewhere near the back or the middle because I can't, I simply can't focus. And I'm like, I'm not paying, well, I'm not paying anything, but I'm not going in debt to just waste these this time, you know? So... I'm going to sit at the front and 
I got asked about three weeks ago, oh, how come we don't hear from you anymore? I'm like, bitch, I'm in every single fucking lesson. You can sit in the front with me. You know, <laughs> like, uh, the only, the, I've been kind of antisocial the second year, not due to depression or anything, but well, because I want to that. actually accomplish something. No, I mean, because I know. I didn't mean to but, say there's nothing wrong with that. I meant to say, like, there's <laughs> nothing wrong with you. You're not being yeah, antisocial. Yeah. You're just trying to pay more attention to school. Yeah, and you I know, know for a fact, like, if I was I've in the middle, of... I would fail. Because I would just be chatting amongst everyone. I've kind of always been like that. Like, I haven't necessarily been antisocial. Because when I'm in a class with friends, whenever we have, like, any sort of free time, I'll talk, I'll talk them up all over the place. But, mm. like, even if I'm in that same class with the friends, when we get down to, like, notes and stuff and, like, trying to pay attention, I will, like... I mean, even if I try to be social, I'll just, like, automatically zone back into whatever we're doing because I'm like, oh, yeah. I should have been paying attention to that. Is that going to be on the test? Yeah, it sounds like we're being all nerdy and whatever, but what it really is is that I'm scared that I'm going to miss something that's going to give me enough marks to pass the year on its own, you know? <laughs> I'm like, if I miss a crucial bit of information that relates to this course and I fail because I was talking to someone about their day, I would want to revisit that person and kick their teeth in just because I failed an entire year because I had a conversation with them, you know? So, I don't know if you know me in uni. That's why I've been sitting at the front ignoring everyone. The funny thing is, you can spin around and there will be, like, a massive gap of, like, three rows and then me. And then you. At the front. Yeah. And it's like, are you guys allergic to sitting anywhere near the front? Like, are you scared of the lecturer? <laughs> yes. I sit at the I, back. No, awesome. I, I don't like to sit at the front. I, I like to sit near, like, the back or the middle. Yeah. Oh, don't be a pussy. Jump right in the front. Get there's, right in the lecturer's face. <laughs> there's one class I sit in the front, and that's because I have a friend who sits up there, so him and I sit together. Yeah. But, like, other than that, like... What I do is I find myself a nice little corner like with a wall, yeah. and it's I can curl up and listen to a lecture, and if it's boring as fuck, I go to sleep. <laughs> oh, yeah. And oh, that, that's right, TJ, as well. I need friends like Vic's friend. <laughs> just sit at the no, front like, and just like not Vic, talk to Vic's each other. Move, Vic's the one who moved up to the front for them. Oh, yeah, Vic, come over here and join me in my lectures oh, about music. <laughs> dude, seriously, I would, like, if I know somebody and they're sitting in the front, Oh, I'll sit next to them. Like no big deal. Yeah. I don't care. But if I, do, I wish if I'm in a class, in the first I year were like that. <laughs> if I'm, I'm in a cl class, like I don't really know anybody and not very particularly close with anybody, I'll normally sit like mid or back by a wall and get comfortable. Yeah. Yeah. I'm actually awesome? kind of afraid sometimes. Like when I do have a class with people that I am friends with, I'm kind of afraid that if I'm the first one to sit down. If I don't sit like where they would normally sit, they're not gonna like sit next to me, and I'll just be all by myself. Like oh, that's lame. A, that's something I never give a fuck about. Recently, like if I sit down first, they might not sit next to me. I'm like, well, fucking great, you know, so I'm gonna sit down first. <laughs> well, that I don't know. It's like it depends on the class, because if it's a class that I know that I'm probably I'm gonna do work in, but it's not gonna be like all my effort, which has pretty much been most of this year. Because I haven't had any really hardcore, hard classes this year, unfortunately. Even though I've taken three AP classes. They've mm. all just been not very hard. God, I AP wish my stands for advanced placement. Just I wish yeah. oh. my senior year like that. Shit. I, I, rocked, I, I rocked out I my first asked. three years of high school and then just coasted my fifth year. I, I, we have... My school, fifth we year? have eight classes, or fifth, fourth year, I'm sorry. <laughs> I was like, whoa. I, I was getting ahead of myself. So we have eight classes years. a year in my high school, and my senior year, I only had yeah, five senior. classes. So you only I had was, five classes? Yeah, because I, I knocked out everything I needed to do my, <laughs> my first three years, so I only had to take my five core classes, and I was <laughs> every day I was early out, and I was like, all right, going home, 12 o'clock, bye. I, wow. <laughs> that was not me. Like, my... Oh my god, I think we had like, I think I had like eight classes. We were in trimesters, and some of those classes, some of the classes we had would go all year, and some of the other classes would be like trimester classes, and would only be for that short amount of time, but by my time, my senior year around, well, once you were a junior, you could take like study um, sessions, and you could, you 
again in the morning. If you got yours in the morning, you could come in late. On some days they were in the morning. Mm. Um, but if and if they were in the afternoons, like the end of the day, you could go home early. It all really depended. Um, like my senior year, I was so fucking busy. Like the fall quarter, I was busy with. We did year was like a big deal because what happens was in senior year you got to pick your senior seminar and that was like the biggest thing in the world I remember everyone just junior year everyone was so excited to pick their senior seminar for the next year and we had three senior seminars pnp stamp power and powerlessness pnc politics and culture and then T struggle and transformation and did you do the second one i did pnp i was in power uh. and powerlessness um and each like each um seminar like covered something different uh every quarter you got a new history teacher and a new english teacher but you kept the same religion teacher because i was in a catholic school we had religion oh, yeah. um and they were all honors courses but then on top of that um we had to write a senior synthesis paper which was a research paper and it had to be between like i think the minimum was like 20 pages or something and we had to write that the entire year so what you did was you got a got an advisor talked with that advisor about like what you wanted to write and then picked a topic you picked your thesis and then you wrote essentially did all your research on your own and it was like a separate thing and then on top of that so like my senior spring quarter of my senior year i played golf and i was awesome top golfer on my team wow. it was me and one of my best friends uh, at the time we were like the two top golfers so like on top of all of this going on plus college applications i was um practicing i was at the golf course like four hours a day so That's i would incredible. go from i would go from i would go to school in the mornings get out at like three ten, and then i would go to actually my job i would Drive to my golf course where I worked, slash played, uh, practice for like three to four hours, go home, like do all my homework for the day, and then go to sleep and then do it all over again and then work on the weekends. Like my senior wow. year, I was so fucking busy. Like in my senior year in college, so much easier. I like quit my job. <laughs> Granted, I'm working on Saturday, but tip money. Like, senior year, I'm taking two classes. I'm taking 10 credits. I'm cruising. I'm just doing my thing. So nice. I don't have to worry. <laughs> I got to admit, it's, it's weird looking back, like, a few years and realizing some of the shit that you did actually have to do. And then you're like, oh, my God, I'm glad I didn't have to do that anymore. <laughs> yeah. I was always That's... late for work on Fridays. <laughs> I worked on Fridays and always was late. Even though I told them, I was like, I won't be here till four. They would always schedule me at 3.30. <laughs> and I got it's to like, you're late a couple again. times. Oh, no shit. <laughs> well, my boss knew, so he didn't really care. But one um, one day, a guy who was working in the didn't know I came in like a half hour later than normal. He called me like 12 times on my way to work. He was like, where are you? Where are you? Coming in? I'm like, yeah, I'm on my way. I'm driving in from Bellevue. So like my work was like 20 minutes away from where I went to school. Like, he called me so many times. Like, are you here yet? Are you here yet? I'm finally was like, dude, you it's calling like, <laughs> me every five minutes is not going to make me get there any faster. Look around the room. Am I in there? <laughs> you know when I'm in the <laughs> goddamn <laughs> building when I come in there and stick my foot up your ass. Pretty much. Oh, wow. and like, when I grab my... when I, <laughs> that would, I hate that shit so much. And to get back at him that Sorry, day, um, like on, I worked outside services, so I worked on the course, and we all had radios get back on him that day i walked up and i said fuck you i know what i need to do for the day i'm not getting a radio and i left <laughs> oh and he nice. was like wait how am i supposed to get a hold of you like if i need you to do something i'm like well you have my phone number I had no problem using it oh. i was like you can text me. i was like you can text me if you need it and i walked out i was like fuck this i am not dealing with him right now so i just like decided to go do a pick on the range and like put in headphones and I'm like driving my little like little like picker up or thing like really pissed like fuck you man fuck you <laughs> oh my god I had to have that wow. type of 
attitude though because i worked i was the only girl like 80 percent of the time on staff at a golf course as well so yeah <laughs> so, which is very male dominant so i mm -hmm. had to like be a bitch <laughs> otherwise like <laughs> otherwise it was downhill for me oh jesus oh happy days i miss that course some days <laughs> though, even though earlier I said, you know, uh, it's weird looking back at your years and then you realise how busy you were, I kind of regret that I dropped some of the stuff that I did because I used to work out a lot more because I had to do um, PE, you know, like um, fucking, I can't remember what PE stands for, but you know what it is, right? <laughs> oh my god, Physical I took education. two. Yeah, yeah, sports education. I, I took two qualifications in this. It's bad that I can't remember what it fucking stood for. But, um,. I remember that I used to be a hell of a lot fitter back then than I am now. Not in the case of, you know, more attractive, in the case of, like, I could run for miles without losing breath. Damn now enough. I can barely walk up the hill, you know? Yeah. That's I mean, that's the thing I learned not long ago when I was trying to revamp my, like, get motivated again to work out, um, yeah. is that when I... Uh, if you if you don't consistently exercise, you lose your stamina three times as fast as you lose you your fucking do. Yes, you do. It's crazy. <laughs> um, but and I was like, damn, man, I need to like not ever take another break from exercising in my life. Yeah, believe it or not, I used to be rather sporty. Played badminton because I wanted to. Um, because it was actually quite interesting. I like that game. Uh. It's not a bad game. No, I've I've played like casually before. It'd be cool. Yeah, it's it's definitely something where I had a rival, and people would end up watching us play because we used to play mind games all the time. Because you know you could do that shot where you could just tap it over the net. We used to do that, and mm -hmm. we used to do it like mercilessly to each other. But then suddenly, like they would try doing hook shots and shit like that, and. It, it, it got really fucking out of hand sometimes. I think we got like 10 people watching us at one point, which is amazing for badminton. Um, used to play basketball. And I think one of the first things I put on my Facebook ever was that I won a tournament that was... Um, like It was all the houses of the, the school slash sixth form um, that were like against each other. So I had to go against a majority of the school's team, like the team that actually played for like regionals and shit like that. And surprisingly, um, I, I kind of captained the team to win, which was a fucking shock. <laughs> so I've always been proud of that. But now I've hardly got involved in sports at all. And I'm kind of sad because I would be fucking hopeless at it. <laughs> I'm, in the I'm in the same boat as you. Like I played soccer all the time and I still play golf. Um, but uh, I still play golf, I wish so I could that's play golf. not a big a deal. But like, I miss soccer a lot. And you played soccer? Yeah, I was. I did too. Defense. Eight years I played. Really? I, yeah, I, I used played to play since left I was like. Field. I played. I think I started when I was like four or five, and I played until I was eighteen. Nice. So, however long that is. Oh yeah, my god, yeah, it's I a shame we can't well. go to like America. It's a shame I can't visit you guys in America and we can have a kick about. <laughs> well, if I so, ever come and visit you, I'll bring a soccer ball and we can have a kick about. Oh, yeah. <laughs> a kick about. Sounds a kick about. With an American accent. Kick about! It's like saying ass. <laughs> ass. I didn't ass. close my bedroom door, so I just yelled that in my living room. <laughs> Quiet. <laughs> Oops. <laughs> Well, all right, guys. Well, we got to move on to questions since uh, Vic has hey. informed us that she might have to go. Yeah, I haven't showered in it. My boyfriend wants to go to dinner. No. So, you don't need to shower that nastiness. For that. Yeah, I do. I smell like shit. Just... <laughs> I smell really bad. <laughs> oh my god. Just Dude, uh, 35 just minutes pour of dish cardio? soap all over you. You'll be fine. What? Okay, whatever. <laughs> Dump the question. Soap. Let's do a question. question. All right. Uh, got to get the question thing open. Actually, oh, TJ. Oh my god, you suggest it and you don't fucking. <laughs> I know, right? It. What a jerk. Uh, Technically, you suggested it by saying you had to go. I didn't suggest it, I just said I had to go. <laughs> Here, here's the uh, DJ music. DJs. Okay. Let's add some Michelle Tello in between, you know? But, All right. Um, actually, I have a question. 
uh, one that oh, shit. Tyler, God. I guess I can add this. Tyler brought it up, and we can use this while I look for good questions. What oh, would you guys what do with the lottery? Oh. oh. What would you guys do if you won the lottery? Yeah. Didn't see that one coming, did you? Donate it. Well, some of it. I wouldn't donate all of it, but I'd definitely donate some of it. Yeah, I'm a cool I'm person. A, I'm not a materialistic person, but I would um I think I would get me a, a, a modest house, nothing fancy. Um how much are we talking about if we win the lottery? What what what's the price? Are we right talking here? like Powerball? <laughs> yeah, right? Where it's like three hundred million? Let's let's say three hundred million. All right. Um invest a million of it. <laughs> um and then spend the and, rest. And then would you go for the deal where you house. get like the flat rate, or would you get like the so and so amount of money per year? No, I would get so-and-so. I would get the no. Yeah, I was about to say I would get um I would get it all at one time. It's higher taxed, but the problem is is that if you with the uh the flat like payments that they give you, even though it's taxed a little bit less, if you die or something like that, that money doesn't go to anybody. You can't will lottery money to a friend or family member. So oh, that's lame. Yeah, so, so I would take the money. Like if it was, if it's three hundred million and I get taxed for one hundred fifty million, well, just don't I die. still got one hundred fifty million. <laughs> you know? die. And I can give that to my family, or I can donate it to charities and stuff like that. So just don't die. You don't have to. The, the way I see it, right? But I you don't always have control over death. Spend. I don't want to spend that money. I probably wouldn't spend it all in one place. I'd probably. I wouldn't either. Absolutely not, because people who do that, like I've seen people, you know, won the lottery, who just, they just go crazy, go crazy, like fuck my job, and they just go buy a bunch of shit, and then they go into absurd amounts of debt. Exactly. So, Why would you do that? I wouldn't. I wouldn't do that. I'm saying, like, I would. I would take enough of it. I would invest it um, into some, you know, like some good stocks, uh, maybe some high yield savings accounts within different banks. Uh, and pretty much just live, you know, middle class off the interest. Interest, yeah. Um, buy myself live comfortably, a, right? Like you know, buy myself a decent house and buy myself a car, and I would, I would just have the rest of the money, and I would probably put it into a charity or a nonprofit. I mean, probably my own nonprofit that I that I work for. So that's what I would do. But that's me because I'm not a materialistic um, person. I don't like stuff. I, I just don't. I don't have a need for it or a desire. What I would end up doing, and I ended up discussing this, and Vic can vouch for me, um, I think it was in a conversation I had with Vic fucking ages ago, Vic or Gaff, Um, but it was, I listed off what I would do, and if I had won it, I wouldn't tell anyone, uh, except for obviously by just, you know, giving money to family or whatever, if I can, uh, invest most of it, and live off the investments and uh i would buy a suit just because i fucking could (laughs) purple and yellow i decided um a cheap and replaceable car maybe five of them um i would pay off every all of them yeah uh i would pay off every single debt and you know any anything that my family's struggling with debt wise and I would want to visit the States on my very first day. That was what I kind of planned to do. So get all that stuff sorted and get a ticket to the States. Uh, maybe Australia. Um, just to try and hopefully meet some of the people I talk to all the time on Rooster Speak. Or oh, Rooster Speak? Rooster Teeth. Uh, if, you know, a bit of both. <laughs> so, yeah, I'd probably do something kind of... All, all you guys, I guess. I would... Put it into a savings account, and I would definitely use it to pay for college because you know that's fun. Um, I would use it. I probably wouldn't use it for materialistic stuff. I know my mom would want to buy a house at least, maybe two, because we have family both in Florida and in New England, so we'd want to get a house up there. You know, just go back and forth. That'd be nice. Be able to see family more often, but other than that, it would probably be similar to how we live now, which isn't you know not too extravagant. We wouldn't have a pl- a sixty two inch plasma TV in all twenty three bathrooms of our mansion. Uh, you know, I'll live in a good life then. I, I, I would <laughs> definitely keep myself to the point of just like living comfortably the way I am now. And just living off sure, interest you, you and sure stuff. You buy a laptop that could play League, Tyler? Oh, yeah. Actually, no. <laughs> <laughs> or that could play anything. Number or one with a die. bullet now. 
is getting the best laptop on the market with all the fucking accessories to make it run and then to rub the it best in efficiency. Space. Yeah, and just be like, Tom, look at it, look! <laughs> nah, but, like, I would need a better laptop. But besides that, I wouldn't probably go crazy with it because <laughs> I'd be scared of using the internet on there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, another question we have. Um, actually, uh, Simon posted questions an hour ago. Oh, nice. Uh, you know. Um, nice timing, Brian Noodle. Well, the first question, I don't understand it. Maybe you will, Tyler, since you're both, you know, British. and British. Or, oh, okay. I'll translate. Yeah, British. Uh, which member of the Company of Thorin Oakenshield would you be and why? For, wait, how is it spelled at the end? What's... Thorin Oakenshield. It's uh, from The Hobbit. I would be Thorin Oakenshield himself because oh. he's a leader. Okay, I feel stupid. I should. Well, maybe I shouldn't know that. I've never actually read The Hobbit. I haven't read it. I'm sorry. <laughs> I think the movie's better. I'm gonna agree I, I like for the that. Movie. The movie was the book was like it was too much singing. <laughs> it's like way too many songs, and it was very it was like really a bunch of kids stories. <laughs> I was like, all right. Considering I never read the book, the movie was pretty good. Yeah, movies. The first in my one, opinion, I still movies need better. To see the second one. Griffin okay. are better. All right. So, uh, what member of the company would any of you guys be? Gryffindor. <laughs> Sorry, I haven't <laughs> seen it, so okay. I can't. I would be the Thorn, whatever, the Oaken Thorn Thorin thing. Oaken shit. You I'll have be, be, out this is a terrible thing. question for you to ask. <laughs> Nobody knows the answers. Oh. Okay, what film do you think hey, hey. special effects hold up the best? I don't know. I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> uh, That's my response. Yeah, Vic, it sounds like she's in a rush. Um, go, Vic. You know, I, I, I love you it. all, but uh, I really need a shower, and my boyfriend is, like, wandering around, and he, he's giving me the looks of, I want to get food after a four and a half hour test. Yeah, don't, don't let so, us keep you. Oh, I'm sure well, the listeners understand. Girl. I'm sorry about this. Uh, I will talk to you all later. Yeah! No, we're going to throw you under the bus as soon as you leave. Yeah, yeah, I know. I've already accepted that as a fact. It always happens. Bye! Bye! Bye. User disconnected from so that fucking Vic, right? <laughs> sorry. Yes. Let me tell you about this twat I know. <laughs> She's going to listen to this back and be like, I fucking called it. You can't do this. <laughs> Can you guys think of anything that I can put in to make it funnier? What the question? Well, no, to make it funnier. Oh, when she left for Vic. Yeah, like, like c- cut something uh, in there. You know, when she left, add like a womp womp noise or something. <laughs> 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 I don't know. Uh, or if you've got like um, a clip of her like yelling. And if you can find a sound effect on the internet of something smashing, like uh, a glass Does window her or something. Does Mulan count as yelling? Yeah, it's just, oh no, like a kind of, woo, like that, you know. <laughs> it sounds like she's jumped out the window in dramatic fashion or something. I could always go back and, well, sorry, I just had like a weird moment. Like I could hear oh. myself, like through my, never mind, never mind. Continue. <laughs> Never mind. Was there another question from uh, Simon that would have, been, you know, because I kind of feel bad skipping his question and not answering it, you know? Oh, so you want to? Well, I asked you, uh, what film do you think the special effects hold up the best? Oh, yeah, you did. Um, what holds up really good? Matrix. Just at, off the really? top of my head, I still like the Matrix effects. Even though I know how to do most of them on my own now, you know, using Final Cut Pro and stuff like that. Um, it's kind of one of those things where at the time it was impressive, and now when I'm watching it, I'm still kind of like, eh, it's cool. There are some really shoddy moments, though. <laughs> yeah, I, I, say, I, I like, I, well, for The Matrix, I like the, um, the special effects stuff, where it was like... Um, in out of the matrix itself, but like in in the real world with the machines, I thought that was mm. all very well done. Um, I have to say, I think the uh, Star Wars uh, special edition graphics hold up really well, considering they're pff, like 
odd 15, 16 old now. Yeah, I was going to say, like, the, I think one of the reasons the Star Wars effect hold up reasonably well is because, you know, they just used close up shots of, like, real miniature models, and it actually worked pretty well. Yeah, Maybe. not the originals, but the, the redone versions from the 90s. I mean, oh, I've, I've never oh, yeah. seen those. Well, I mean, I probably have seen them, but I never noticed much of a difference. Yeah, they added a lot of um, this in episodes, uh, in episode four, especially with uh, the fight with the Death Star, they added a lot uh, of additional, like, X Wing TIE Fighter stuff. It looks, it looks really good. Uh, there, I know when the, when the X, uh, when Star Wars Rogue Squadron 2 came out on the GameCube, people would look at that and they would go, are those the same graphics from the movie? <laughs> it wasn't, but they, people were asking because it just looked really, really good. The graphics are so amazing. Yeah, they probably don't look like <laughs> poo now. Absolute garbage. So, I, because I was going to say Star Wars, but you took my answer. Yeah, you can both say Star Wars, can you? <laughs> um, you could go with you could go with Star Trek as well because uh, Industrial Light and Magic did that as well. Yeah, they did the same the same thing with the models, which I liked. You, you, can I go with a specific TV show thing? Mm-hmm. I think Star Trek Voyager has really good. Out of all the Star Trek TV shows, I think Voyager has the best graphics that hold up the best. It was like, also I the most be, recent one, but yeah, I, I, that could I gotta admit I'm the most biased. <laughs> yeah, I know. I know Voyager is like your favorite. So, didn't although I thought DS Nine ended before or ended after Voyager. No, uh, it was um the way the series ran was that uh it was Next Generation, and then like season seven of Next Generation, I think, is when they started Deep Space Nine, and then Next Generation ended, and it was in the last season or two of Deep Space Nine that Voyager started. So. Oh, the three okay. never fully overlapped each other in terms of production or airing. Uh, they did in timeline a little bit with the star dates, um, but that's why, and that's why, like the last, the last couple seasons of Deep Space Nine, where they have some of the really big space battles, those look really good because um, they did a lot of three D stuff there with computer generated combat. So, okay, well that makes sense why it holds up, but. Still, a lot of the stuff from the 90s looks like shit. Yeah, yeah, and nowadays like, it does. It doesn't hold up when you go to, like, if you watch, if you, like, try to stream it on uh, Netflix, where they don't, it's not fully, like, converted, up-converted to, like, real HD. It's, it's, But it's that kind of expanded, enhanced definition, shall we call it? Instead of, like, 480i, it's 480p. Um, and so it's... You can see where, it like, the, the some of the texturing starts to get really muddy. Yeah, I started watching Deep Space Nine like the other day because I've been playing so much Star Trek online. And I'm like, Deep Space Nine is the only one I haven't watched. Started watching it, and I'm just thinking I can get through this. Be like, I'm just trying to like it because I don't like the any of the characters. I don't like the stories, and I don't like the effects. But I'm just keep telling myself. At some point, I'm going to have to like all these people. <laughs> but it's not happened yet. I think the first couple seasons of Deep Space Nine, they're still trying to like find themselves a bit. And it was it was some pretty rough footing. Um, I think if you give it third or fourth season, where they like really get into like um, what's going on with the Dominion and the Gamma Quadrant, it that's, picks up a good deal then. Yeah, that's one of the reasons I want to look it up, is because I have... That's like one of the main parts of the main like Star Trek canon that I don't know anything about. It was like briefly mentioned in one of the uh, Star Trek Next Generation movies. Like they're like, "Oh, we're at war with the Dominion. We can't afford blah 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 blah." Right now, and I'm like, "Who's the Dominion?" Never well, they do that guys. in Voyager because you know the episode where they send the Doctor um, through that yeah. little ton like that transwarp conduit or whatever it is, and he ends up on the uh, the experimental ship. Um, and it's being taken over by Romulans. <laughs> yeah, it was. <laughs> Where the doctor and Andy Dick was the other doctor. <laughs> um, oh it's so um, yeah, they're they're there and they're talking. And they're like blah blah blah. The Dominion and from the Gamma Quadrant and Janeway and them. They're stuck in the Delta Quadrant, just trying to get home. And they're like, 
what the hell's that? <laughs> like, we've been gone that long? <laughs> Voyager is definitely really good. I gotta admit, I liked Voyager myself. Like, I don't know. Really good characters, and, like, I, I just love the whole story of them trying to get home. Like, yeah. being disconnected. I don't know. I, th- I, I really have a hard time with, um, with whether I like Deep Space Nine or Voyager more because of Deep Space Nine's later seasons are really good. Um, it's not... I don't know if it's really good in the spirit of Star Trek um, because it's about war. It's not about exploration and peace. Like, <laughs> out, it's about the Federation trying to survive. <laughs> really is what it comes down to. There are some really good episodes. There's one episode that, that has Cisco where he basically... Uh, I, I, the show's so old now, I'm just going to spoil it for you. Um... Where he's oh. trying to coax the Romulans <laughs> into joining the uh, the war against the Dominion, and they set up this huge, massive plot, and it all goes terribly bad. And mm. in the end, he he does not him, but his accomplice does some trickery that gets the Romulans to ultimately join them. And at the end of the episode, he goes, um, "Computer, delete that entire log I just created." <laughs> so nobody knows that the Romulans were tricked into joining the Federation for the war. That's that's always the basis of a good alliance. Yeah, <laughs> it's a good good strong alliance there. <laughs> that's a lie. Is the foundation, but that's why in Star Trek Online, it's like Romulans and the Klingons and the Federation are separate because of power struggles shifted. So they were in alliance and now they split well, because thought- of whatever happened and. On pretty, Star Trek Online. I think in Star Trek Online, you're still technically allied with the main Romulans. And I think mostly that was after what happened in, like, uh, Star Trek Nemesis? No. Yeah, Nemesis. Star Trek Nemesis with the uh, the Remans or whatever on the other side of the moon. Hey, Tyler, uh, do you watch huh? Star Trek? Or has this all been kind of over your head? Like not over your head, but like, oh, you, you know, are so we kind of just leaving you? Behind? Yeah, <laughs> I think we just left him behind. Sorry. Oh uh, well, um, I don't know. I, 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 I didn't so want to interrupt. Wars. I, I haven't. I, I've definitely seen Star Wars. Uh, I, I, I've not really watched too much more besides the um, the Christmas special that it had and the actual films, but. Um, as far as Star Trek goes, I haven't watched it. So when you guys brought it up, I was like, I shouldn't interrupt because I can tell some listeners are going to find this really interesting. And there's going to be some some listeners out there that are watching this and they're going to be like, oh, fuck, in the same position as me. <laughs> where I'm like, I don't even know what's going on right now. I don't know <laughs> who like, these people are. <laughs> yeah. It's, it's like, cool listening to it. The few people we got to listen to this podcast because we talked so much about Star Wars they're going to come to this podcast and they're going to be like, the fuck is this shit? <laughs> Star Trek? What? You can't be a Star, Star Trek, Trek and a Star Wars fan. Oh, you sure you can. It's bisexual. <laughs> I I, I'm star curious, that's all. <laughs> I'm what you would call a binary star system. <laughs> but yeah, sorry that if my bad. silence was deadly apparent. Oh, I, did <laughs> I just didn't want to interrupt. Wrong. Okay. So, yeah, that's that's Star Trek. That is kind of what Star Trek is. Maybe, yeah. maybe we should stop. Stop. <laughs> stop. I mean, yeah, I can maybe answer maybe one more question if you want. <laughs> yeah, let's do one more question before we give the our lovely audience their question that they are. Don't don't end on that. <laughs> don't end, don't end on Star Trek. Yeah. Or don't don't end no. on losing the audience. It's Star Trek. No. <laughs> hey audience welcome back to the podcast uh, we're done with the star trek talk now you could add like a little annotation if you want to skip the star <laughs> trek conversation click here <laughs> <laughs> oh uh, jacob i'm sorry <laughs> i shouldn't <laughs> i shouldn't take the piss <laughs> uh, uh, let's see if there are some questions that would be good um do you guys oh, want you like you guys want an all the questions are question good. Or do you want like a really quick one that we can just say what is this? I'm I'm good either way. Yeah, I'm good either way. TJ's okay. like, don't make me choose. <laughs> <laughs> um, so 
this is just one post that has a lot of questions from Nick. Uh, okay. Um, if Barbie's so popular, why do you have to buy all her friends? Because her friends are like the exception. Like buying an Xbox, but then when you need extra, you're just gonna buy the extra controllers. <laughs> you're not my friend until I buy you a controller. Right. Uh, Here's one semi related. If space is a vacuum, who changes the bag? Oh my god, that is so cheesy. Romulans. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like a question from Alex. <laughs> I was about to answer the first. Yeah, I was about to answer the first one with like a deadly serious like reaction, like saying, "Well, because kids are easily brainwashed, and they will, you know." The company will get more money if she has more friends that you have to purchase. Therefore, your parents have to go in debt for some kid that's addicted to it. But then I was like, oh my god, all of his questions are going to be like this, like these little puns. <laughs> oh, right. Well, I think that's enough questions for now. Uh, do either of you, well, I guess, Tyler, since you're the guest, you get to make up a question for the audience. Hmm. What is your favorite song at the moment? Because I know it can change frequently, and it's kind of ironic me bringing it up because I can't label my own. But I want to know what's kind of popular out there and what other people think is the best song at the moment for them to listen to. There you go. <laughs> what's your favorite song? I, I was just telling Julia earlier that my favorite song right now that I'm in absolute love with is Am I Wrong by Nick, Nico and Vince. I haven't heard that. See, that's why yeah. I want to know what people <laughs> like. <laughs> so can you actually hear somebody give you like a completely different genre or will you look up a song without knowing anything about it? Mm -hmm. TJ, maybe I I'm just close-minded about that. Because <laughs> I, I like hear somebody say a song and I'm like, I'm not going to listen to that. I don't know what that is. Is it like this band that I like? Is it? It's not. I'm not uh -huh. going to do it. I think and then I like listen to it like three years later and it's like, oh, that's a song you're talking about. This is actually pretty catchy. And then you're one of those guys <laughs> that when that band gets really popular, the other person's like, I tried showing you this ages ago. But, no, um... I, I, I don't really have popular bands. I, I've liked two bands <laughs> since I was in middle school and that's it. Unfortunately. Yeah, I have. I now have three um, artists that I I always buy their albums when they come out. Oh, yeah. Um, like, the full album, not just individual songs. Uh, that's... If, ever since I was a kid, it was Eminem and Linkin Park, but I uh, yeah. recently fell in love with Owl City, and so it's the three of them. Jim, you had the same taste as me as a kid, but I had 50 Cent as well. Well, my brother bought that one. But... I was real hit and miss on 50 Cent. I used to really like Ludacris back in his early days, and he's still good. I still like him as a rapper, but I don't love him like I used to. But... Um... To answer TJ's question from a little while ago, that doesn't really make you close-minded. It's just that I'm extremely open-minded about a lot of music. It has to be really vapid bullshit in order for me to listen to it and vapid. think that it's bad. Yeah, it has to be really like the word vapid. vapid. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry. But, and um, on that note, I think we should end it. Yeah, we should <laughs> okay. End it. But I this listen to Tagline Vapid by Tyler. Vapid. I have to look up the definition the of that and know. see if I even used it correctly. Nah, you, don't, you don't need to look up the definition. That's Luis's job. <laughs> uh, are you saying goodbye? Or did you guys want to quickly... TJ, what was your favorite song at the moment? Because Jim said his. Uh, Rise Against. That's not a song that's banned. Um, and it's not Rise Against. It's uh, You're Gonna Go Far, Kid, by The Offspring. Ah, by The Offspring. I had their albums as well. <laughs> Okay. I still got the greatest hits. Sorry. We're done? Yeah, We're done. And you Bye. keep on wrap it. And I keep on talking. Shut up, Tyler. Are you Tyler. gonna wrap it now? Damn it, Tyler! Damn it. And now you're gonna wrap it. Shut your Tyler, ass! You're getting rolled under the bus, right next to Vic. <laughs> okay, dump, dump. we should say goodbye then. Oh, it's backing up. Beep. Dump, dump. Beep, <laughs> beep. 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 Bye, listeners. Dump, dump. Thank you I for listening. I, I can't find the off button. That Oops. is. <laughs> Bye, <laughs> for the last time. Ciao! This podcast's intro and outro music 
is provided to us by TDB Tyler. You can find him on Rooster Teeth by searching for his name, TDB Tyler, and looking for his group, O oh the Comanity, spelled O H exclamation point T H E C O M M A N A T E E. You can also find more of his work on YouTube by searching for his channels, The Dropped Banana, all one word, and O oh the Comanity.